Today we're back in our plans more Madden 24 online head head. Today we're back and today we're talking about some more offseason news. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh my record going into this is uh sixty-five and seventy-five. So let's get into it. So our first piece of news comes from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have re-signed their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. So Baker Mayfield is returning to the Bucks. They got Baker Mayfield back, they got Mike Evans back, and they got Antoine Winfield Jr. back. Their top three guys are all coming back to Tampa, so that's good for Tampa. Uh, our next piece of news comes from uh, the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers have decided to release linebacker uh, Devondre Campbell for salary cap reasons. He wasn't really contributing all that much, and he's pretty old too, so only makes sense. And then our last piece of news before the big piece comes from the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars have signed former... Uh, Buffalo Bills center, Mitch Morse, who the Bills released to try and save money along, like, remember that video I made? They released Mitch Morse, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White, uh, Deontay Hardy, all those guys. Mitch Morse is one of those casualties, and now he signs in Jacksonville, who already have a pretty decent little O-line there with, like, Brandon Sheriff, uh, Walker Little... And all that, and uh, Ezra Cleveland, they're they're pretty, building a pretty good O line there in Jacksonville. Now the big piece of news, the reason why I made this video, comes from the Denver Broncos. So, well, technically it's not the Broncos, but the player that I'm using is on the Denver Broncos. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, just as I'm making this video, uh, the Colts have signed star wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. to a three-year deal up to $71.5 million, $46 million guaranteed. They just signed him on the franchise tag, but uh, yeah, that's good to know. No, I'm not playing this guy. I want to talk about this Broncos stuff. Come on. It's not Broncos stuff, but... No, oh, bro, I'm not facing a 49ers user. Bro, is this the only guy playing right now? Like... It can't be the only guy fucking playing Madden right now. It's like 11 in the morning. Okay, we have a Vikings user, that's fine. All right, so Russell Wilson has signed a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Pittsburgh gets their quarterback to compete with Kenny Pickett. Russ leaves, goes from Seattle to Denver to New Orleans, uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh gets them on a super cheap deal, which Denver already has to pay for uh, like most of his contract. They have to pay like 39 million of his contract while Pittsburgh's paying like 2 million. I'm returning this. But yeah, Russell Wilson uh, signs with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh gets their guy. Now Denver needs a guy. I'm thinking they'll draft one, I'm assuming. But I don't know. So I thought we'd play Russell Wilson's last game as a Bronco. I know I already made a video when they released him about playing his last game. But 
I don't know. <laughs> it was either this or use the Steelers. I didn't really want to use the Steelers. All right, HP stretch. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. Let's go, Russ. Let's cook up, Russ. Steelers country. Let's ride. Oh, oh. Good shit, Javante. Tight end angle. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him. It yeah, fuels I knew that. I knew it. I fucked that one up. Oh, that's my fault. I shouldn't have threw it to Greg Dolchich. That's my fault. That one's on me. Cabron all. I think Russell Wilson is a definite improvement. Why do they have Jaron Hall in? Okay. You don't want to use Kirk Cousins? That's fine with me, buddy. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Oh. No. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really Kaden Stone. Down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would RPO think would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end. But, uh, yeah, I think Russ, I mean, look at that AFC North fucking quarterbacks now. You got Lamar in the Ravens, Burrow in the Bengals, Deshaun in the Browns, and now Russ and the, and the Steelers. That shit's crazy as hell. Zone toss. That's probably got to be like the, the best division for QBs. Now they'll toss it out right to Williams. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. Because, I mean. Six yards the pick up and that's a first down. His first counter -act. Carry their second what else would it be? Not the AFC West because the Raiders don't have a QB and Broncos don't have a QB. Yeah, I'd probably have to say the AFC North has the best quarterbacks. I guess we're going to do a post. I don't know. I didn't click it. I'm on inside zone. Get up. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Slot post. I threw the ball way before that, bruh. I threw the ball way before that. Fine, kick the field goal. That's fine. Kick the fucking field goal. It's fine. That might be a miss. Oh, no, we're good. 3 nothing. Good show, Will Lux. Should have a first down there, but I'm not going to complain. Been having some good luck recently, so. No. Come on, Robert Press. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn mm -hmm. now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Here's Hall. Nowhere to go. Come on. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, right. offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying Come on, that guys. Missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. 18 yards the game. 
Cavano. They run for the first time with Ty Chandler. And this will be a Vikings first down as the tackle made it about the 43. Alright, that's the end of the first quarter. Power six. Uh, Mike Purcell. Let's go, Mike. Here's Hall. Oh, good try, Justin Simmons. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're going to go further. Now is second and ten. Yeah, here we go. Oh, how did you not get that, Alex Singleton? Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, Double. especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just so confused why this guy's using Jaron Hall, like the worst quarterback on the team. Ah. Cover on the robber. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now it's Hall. He's going to sling this deep down. Oh. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. Cover nine, show two. was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Pick that. Gonna pick kick three. Converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. He's gonna go for it. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there? The fake. Shut him down on that attempt. Oh, I thought I blocked him. Three nothing. Is good, and that will tie us at three three. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an eleven play drive. Well, that's a lot of offense to run there when we get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful? Oh yeah. Three, oh yeah. Kick it short, baby. Playbook, trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six. <laughs> and he returns this to the twenty-two. Um. Levels out. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to All right. the kick. Most of them wanted it. Took my eight team, yards right? there. In this case, a field goal. PA cross shot. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. That weren't happy with uh -oh. the field goal. You sending an all out blitz right now? Other than the extra point. That's it. Come on, man. HB stretch. Congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, the secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Dog. Why did you run right at Daniil Hunter, you fucking idiot? You fucking moron. Run HB slip screen. 
the call here. They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Oh. Oh. He's down. So it's bullshit, bro. This game fucking sucks my fucking cock, bro. Your ass is not scoring. I'm making sure of that, bro. This game fucking sucks, bro. The fuck was that? Weak blitz one. Stupid ass fucking game. Yeah, two minute warning. They run like bats, Stupid ass fucking faggot ass recovery. bitch. What a nice play he made there. The Cover on Robert Press. Now second and nine. All to throw it. Nope. On the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. But this is a half for not just Cover on all. But the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Stupid ass fucking. Oh my god. Throw hole. Wow. Such a faggot. Who is that? Who got fucking smoked on that route? Yeah, good for the Vikings. Y'all ain't good, bruh. Fucking pissed off now. Give me the ball. Kick it short. Kick it short, you fucking faggot. Kick it fucking short, you stupid ass fucking faggot bitch. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. You're lucky. And Smith not gonna bring it out, so it's a touchback. Inside post out. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. Thank you. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. That's all I needed, baby. Taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Hammer dagger. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. I threw the fucking ball, bro. I threw the ball. PA goes Lacrosse. It's not fucking struggles. I just don't have time to throw the fucking ball. Can my O-line fucking help me? Thank you. All I need is time. All I need is time. If you can give me time, I can make a fucking play. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh my god. Run. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm gonna run it on the other side. I'm gonna run it on the other side. No need to panic. They just gotta come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Where the fuck are you going? Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 
So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In right. this case, they'll take the field goal. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Joseph connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Oh, I'm gonna kick it short. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. Fucking faggy. Not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Okay, let's get it back. Onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Good shit, Javante. Let's go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first PA half crossers. Of play. First and ten here, and you know if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Hey. What? And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the forty, before being taken down. Ninety-two yards rushing for him, as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Inside post out. Oh, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. My fault. I didn't fucking timeouts. see. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Let's go, PA goes slot cross. Hold on. No. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. That's a pick. Or not. Okay. Complete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Thank God. Levels out. From the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Let me run inside zone. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. Time out. Take a fucking field goal, I guess. Three field goals. Let's go. Yay. Woo. Funny. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick by Lutz is good. All right. 17-9. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Okay. Do we get ball or does he get ball? And I don't remember. Do the end of the second quarter. I think he gets ball. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Counter the blitz, bruh. Because that's all he's fucking doing and he's a... Fucking faggot ass fucking bitch for doing that. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. The longer now from his end zone. Yeah, I see him doing that shit again, bro. Get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Cover six. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Throwing here is Hall. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Okay. And get this up to the 30 yard line. Hall. <laughs> Cover two men. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch? And then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. You're such a fucking bitch. Who is number eight, bruh? You've been playing like shit all fucking game. 
That's Quan Williams. Cover six. Now a handoff to Chandler, and he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely cover on Robert Press. Every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Thank you. Across his body and it's intercepted. Oh, go Justin. Picked up by Justin Simmons. And he'll return this ball across. Good shit, Justin. To the 47 yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for. An interception Inside zone. opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys to I love how my left guard doesn't fucking push up on the fucking blocks. HB stretch. Bar in on the tackle. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. Yeah, go stutter goes. There's Wilson to throw. Dog. How does that Russ? How are you playing so bad, bro? Dagger. Because I don't have time. Like, what the fuck else do you want? Like, how stupid are you to fucking just say that? Like, do you, does it look like I have time? Thank you. Cortland Sutton. PA bunch shot. When I get time, I can fucking make a play. Where are you going? Where are you going, bruh? Was that your fucking route? I don't think so. I do not think that was your route. Like, oh my god. Fucking stupidity, bruh. Move! Uh! Like, I... Oh my god. Deep fork. Uh, I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable. Should I go PA read? I like that MVU. And then I can't make a fucking play because I fucking my O line is so fucking terrible. That's what I'm talking about, bruh. Oh my god, four fucking field goals, 17-12. I need to get in the fucking end zone. That's what I fucking need. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Okay, get another fucking stop. For your next possession. Cover six. Okay. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up nice hit. minimal remove of the football. But something to lose build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working. Engage eight, well apparently. Okay, I guess we're running engage eight. Downs, really making a push for the end zone and look like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a strong nice memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Cover on hole. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Now Hall. Nice. That's the end of the third quarter. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. You're going to punt it or you're going to go for He's going to go for it. Obviously, it's fourth and inches. Who wouldn't go for that? My opponent is experiencing network issues. Oh, he quit. All right. A win is a win is a win is a win.
66 and 75. Give me another game, bro. That was a show, sh like a shit game offensively. Give me another fucking game. Colties are bad. <laughs> it's the NFL on EA Sports coming to you now from the foot of the Rockies in Denver, Colorado. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll right, be the Indianapolis ball. Colts taking on the Denver Broncos. Yes, sir. Let's cook with Russ before he goes to the Steelers. I'm returning this. Set the pace of the game. From his end zone, here's Traymond Smith. Sheds off the tackle. And that right. decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. HB stretch. About five yards as he's tackled at the 20. I'm going to run this way. They begin the drive. Okay, Lloyd Cushenberry, just don't block for me. Thank you. Dagger. I wanted to keep running, but HB stretch. Yeah, I'll take five yards. Zone toss. See if we can run it against this guy, because I couldn't have run it against the fucking other guy. Get that first. Let's go. Thank God. I didn't think he was going to give it to us, but HP stretch. Oh my god, my opponent is experiencing network issues. Don't leave. Oh my god, bro, not again. Why are these people leaving, bro? Two fucking rage quitters. Guess I'll take that. A win is a win. 67 and 75. Well, not much else I can do, bro. I've played two fucking games and I got two rage quits, so. <coughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And until my next video, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.